Hey, what's going on guys? It's Bill Moore. Well, I'm back in the hot seat again for another fresh pod review. Now, I'm really excited about this one because this particular pepper has kind of been a long time uh, in the making. Uh, this one tonight is called the uh, Genghis Khan's Brain. Now, take a look at that. Uh, it really looks uh, gnarly like a brain. Uh, in a, kind of in a similar way to a, a brain strain, but uh, definitely a different... Uh, a shape to this one. And once again, this is the Genghis Khan's brain. Now, this was grown uh, hydroponically by the pepper geek uh, Stephen Canada down in Somerville, uh, South Carolina. So, uh, this has been in the making for about six months. So, uh, really excited to review this for you guys. I don't think a whole lot of people know too much about it. Um, I haven't seen any reviews on it, but uh, it is the uh, I believe the creation from those Italian growers that are part of the AIASP, uh, which I believe translates to the Italian uh, Amateurs and Scholars Pepper Association. It's a nonprofit organization that's dedicated to the uh, to the study of capsaicin peppers. I believe what Cardi is uh, to C A R D I, Cardi is to the West Indies. Uh, then the AIASP is to Italy, uh, and uh, I guess you chili heads or you growers would know what I'm talking about. But uh, the Genghis Khan brain, Genghis Khan's brain, is supposed to be about an F5 or F6 stage, and it's said to be a cross between a, a Trinidad scorpion and a Trinidad and Tobago pepper. So uh, let's get into this thing. Uh, it is not huge. Uh, I may be thankful for that. But uh, let's go ahead and cut it open for you guys and see what it looks like, see what it smells like, and see what it, all right, wow. Let's see if I can do this without tearing the whole thing completely. Well, I just did that, so we'll just have to do it this way. But uh, as you can see, this thing is uh, pretty much full of placenta. You see that? Pretty much covered with placenta and uh, quite a few seeds. Now, I'm not taking the seeds because I'm going to share them or because I'm growing them. Um, I just want to see if I can just remove just a little bit of these. Um, I think if a lot of seeds is going to, you know, maybe make it taste a little bit bitter. So just knock out a few right there. Seeds really don't bother me. It's just that uh, when you see a little bit of them, easy to get out, then that's kind of what I want to do. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about the aroma. Hmm. It smells like your typical, you know, red seven pot, red super hot. It's got that nice, sharp red um, super hot capsaicin smell. This one looks to be a little bit oily. I don't know how much you can see. Well, you really can't see it on the camera, but uh, anyway. Now, I don't know too much about, you know, hydroponically grown uh, peppers, uh, but I guarantee you that this has been well taken care of. It's been well fed, but uh, it's just taken a... Um, a long time to uh, to ripen up is what Stephen was telling me. Okay, well I've got the uh, <laughs> I'm getting this all over my hands. Got the uh, the stem taken off. Let's put this thing back together and see if we can uh, see what it tastes like here. Here we go. I'm going to start on the end here. Thing is ripe. It's not too soft. <clears throat> Typical red, super hot flavor. Blistering hot already, just that little bit. Just a nice clean. Ah, oh, this is gonna be hot. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get this done.
<sighs> Woo! That thing is blistering hot already. Um, this kind of really attacks the whole front part of the tongue. This one seems to really have the, um, the fumes. <sighs> Woo! This one's got my eyes watering already. Yeah, um, it seems to have, I don't know if you, I would say it's sweet, and it's definitely not bitter. It just tastes like your typical red super hot pod. Um, I think it tastes better than a scorpion, a Maruga scorpion. Um, I don't think it's taste as good as uh, some of the uh, Reapers or the Seven Pot Primos I've tasted, but uh, just your regular red, super hot, clean, non-floral, uh, blazing hot pod. I think this is really going to be a good burn. Um, now it's all over the tongue. Now it's all over the mouth. Uh, just blistering hot. And this has really got my eyes watering. Woo! Dragon's breath. Wow. Now, right away, now it starts to feel numbing. If you know what I mean, kind of that numbing type sensation all over the inside of the mouth. The drool is really picking up. Yeah, lots of drool on this one. A very interesting burn on this one. Uh, way up there in heat, blistering hot. But it really makes the mouth, uh, the tongue, go numb. Has that funny feeling from going numb? A really nice endorphin rush coming on already. Excuse me. Yeah, I can tell this is a really good burn. <clears throat> Crazy hot, but there's just something about it. <sighs> wow. Oh. Yeah, really nice endorphin rush. A little bit on the back of the throat, but it's not really a throat burner. It's just a tongue and a mouth burner, if you know what I mean. All over evenly. A little bit on the lips, the front of the mouth. But it's got that numbing sensation. Blistering oven top, oven uh, hot heat. Tears are hot. I think it's just about peaked, starting to kind of level off a little bit. But my tears are burning. Oh, wow, that is an awesome pepper. Oh, got the chills. <sighs> yeah, the mouth is just numb. Ooh. Legs are tingling, feet are tingling. <sighs> oh, still hurts. Couple of 
paper towels left. I think I'll be okay. Wow. Now, I don't think it's the hottest I've ever had, but it's got a unique burn on it, as you probably can tell. Man, as you talk, it just lights the mouth up again. You know, so the best way to describe this, it's not one to attack or latch on to one area of the back of the throat at all. The throat is fine. It's in the mouth. It's on the tongue, roof of the mouth, the gums. This really produces a lot of saliva. And once again, it gives you that numbing sensation in the mouth. Yeah, the throat is fine, really. <clears throat> wow. That's awesome. I'll give it a little bit more time. Getting a whole lot easier now. Nice endorphin rush. Got that spaced out feeling. Now, it'd be interesting to see, Stephen, what this would taste like in the ground. Oh. So, maybe next year. Uh. Uh. Excuse me. Oh. Get that gas out. Okay. Not too bad in here. Just the regular amount. Doesn't feel like it's going to make me sick. It's not that type of pepper that you that makes you ill right away. But once again, that is worth growing, worth of continuing to stabilize. It's got a nice burn on it, blistering hot, a nice clean burn, a unique burn. It's got a pretty good fl a flavor on the pepper. <sighs> Just your nice red, super hot, clean, non-floral, non-bitter um, taste. <sighs> okay. Okay. So enough of that. <coughs> okay, pretty much, pretty much easier now to talk on the throat or the mouth, but just really spaced out. But once again, that was the uh, a Genghis Khan's brain, an F5 or X6 uh, uh, stage hybrid cross. Uh, created by the Italian growers uh, from the AI ASP. I believe that's the Italian Association of Amateurs and Scholars Pepper Association. Woo! Cross between a Trinidad Scorpion and a Trinidad and Tobago Pepper. So awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Stephen, thank you very much for sending that one. I do appreciate it. Oh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next time, everybody, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys on the next one.